We'll guide you through two ways to find your Minecraft Bedrock world files. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And a huge thank you to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting are my go-to Minecraft server host. If we go and scroll down, we can go and see all these awesome features. They've got 24 seven servers and support, so you can get help with your server anytime you need it. They've got DDoS protection, instant setup, and so many other awesome benefits. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description, which you can go and check out. Now, let's get into the first method of finding your world files. So all you need to do is go and click on play, just like so, and find the world which you wish to go and have the files for. So in this case, I'll have it for this top survival world. I'll head over to the right and go and click on the edit button. Then all you want to do is make sure edit settings and game is selected and just scroll down all the way to the bottom just here. And as you can see, you've got the option for export world. So you could click there and you'll then go and get this pop up. And what will happen is, is you're going to go and save an MC world file. And this is essentially a specific file for Minecraft worlds. And then what you could do is go and save it onto your desktop, for example, I'll just press export. It'll go and say world export started. Just wait and it's now finished and here it is. And then what happens when it's going run, as you can see, it will then automatically be imported. I've already got it though, but let's say you went and send that to somebody, then what they could do is go and double click on it and run it as well. And it would then be added into their Minecraft. So that's the first version, but you may want to go and have the raw files from Minecraft, which I'll now show, show you how you can do. Go to the bottom of your computer and go and click on search and type in run like so and then you're going to get this pop up. What you need to do is go and type in percentage local app data percentage again, just like so, and that's it. Click okay and your files will open up. And then all you need to do is go and scroll down here until you can go and see packages. So as you can see, here it is just here, go and double click on it. You're now going to go and see a ton of different stuff. All you need to do is scroll down until you go and start to see Microsoft because it is alphabetical. There is quite a lot of Microsoft stuff here, but what you're looking for is Microsoft.Minecraft and that is what Minecraft Bedrock is. So as you can see, I've only got one here. Uh, mine is Microsoft.Minecraft UWP and then a load of letters and numbers, but this is it here. So then what you can do is go and double click on it like this and then you need to go into app data, go and click on local state and in here, go and click on games, then click on com.mojang. And here we are. So this is your general Minecraft Bedrock files, because at the top here, you can go into behavior packs and go and see them. As you can see, I've got one there, but to get to your actual worlds, you need to go to the Minecraft worlds folder, which is just here. And as you can see, here are all of my worlds. So instead of it being a .mc world file, we're just getting the actual folder. So what you could do is then double click on the folder and you can then go and see all of the contents. As you can see at the top here, you can go and look at behavior packs and things like that. Um, but what you probably want to do is go and back this up or maybe send it to somebody. So then what you could do is go and right click on this and go and press on copy, just like so, so we copy the folder and I'll then come onto my desktop and right click and paste it just like that. And then what you want to do is you want to go and make this into a zip file because then if it's a zip file, it's much easier to go and send to people. So to do that, you just right click on it and then you can go and click on it, compress the zip file and you've now got the zip file and it's that simple. And then if you want to go and add a world in, then all you want to do is go to the location again to the Minecraft worlds folder. Let's say you want to have, you have a zip folder, go and double click on it. And then what's really important is, is that the folder you go and drag in, go straight to the contents. For example, here are the folders, we double click on it, it goes straight into it. There isn't another like subfolder and you need to make sure that's the same. So now let me go and drag this in just like so, and it will go and replace it, that's fine. But when you go and double click on it, it goes straight into everything. You don't want it to go into another folder than the contents, it needs to go straight into the world files. But that's it, it's super easy to find your world files. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.